in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. So hang around and we will see you at 3 o'clock.
for joining in. We are gonna get going in the next five minutes.
Hi everyone and welcome. We are back due to popular demand and this time I can guarantee that we have got two of the best professionals that are no doubt going to put a smile on your face. We are bringing you the best in golfing entertainment from our living room to yours. This is the Virtual Sunshine Tour. Today we have two pros uh, from the fabulous coastal region of KwaZulu-Natal. These Durban boys will be playing the iconic front nine of Glendower Golf Course, hoping to get ahead of our current leader on two under, it's Andre Null, and hoping that they don't take Heinrich Brainer's spot on the bottom of the leaderboard at a dismal six over. First up, playing out of Hillcrest, it is the baby-faced assassin, Mr. <laughs> Martin Roa. How's it going? How you doing? Great to have you here, Martin. And now, for his opponent, he's moisturized, got his ex pucker raban combo on. Stick your head out the window because here comes the best smelling man in the greater Lelouchia area. It's the one, the only, Jared Mabokbokavi. <laughs> Hello, guys. How's everyone doing today? Thanks for having me, Courts. Looking right. forward to my battle with Kloof's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. I so, wait. Um, our rules are simple today. We're going to play the front nine at Glendower. And um, we want all our fans at home to try and predict the winner. Who do you think is going to take it home today? You've got up until the first hole to put in your bets. Uh, after that, we will pick a winner uh, from the guys who've chosen correctly. And we'll be sending you a prize courtesy of one of our professionals. Uh, today, we've also got a spot prize for the best comment on the stream. Knowing these two, I have full confidence that we're going to get something good out there today so make sure that you guys are chatting around if you've got any questions you can pop all of those up in the comments but for now gentlemen i think it's time for us to click ready and head to the first team let's go harvey let's go little ray your boat let's go my boy i can't <laughs> wait to just give you one big carrot all your clue channels pulling in. Wow, 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 Martin. Woo! Are you first right, team? Are you feeling for the first team? I don't know if anyone knows, but Harvey was up until 3.30 in the morning, practicing all night. So it's going to be blind when you just get to carrots after this. Well, it's almost as bad as someone saying I'm going to bed and caught some online. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I don't know what's worse, worse, brother bear. On your brother know. bear, Joe. I but don't you're know. Up at cause... three playing. Oh, row your boat to badge, so badge it's yacht, be bro. Row your boat to the badgy. I'm sure badgy yachts We're... is tuning in. Shout out to badgy yachts. He wouldn't miss <laughs> this for the world. Badgy That's your yachts, ex caddy, bro. Hmm? Your ex caddy only lasted one tournament. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, boys. So as you can see, there's um, a lot of banter here on the stream. We're heading again to the beautiful Glen Dower Golf Course. Again, this was courtesy of a fan uh, building this golf course for us. So if you are one of those people who've got the game, absolutely go out there, come and engage. But for now, we're at the first tee. Um, Martin, tell me, how would you play this hole? Uh, so I'm just going to take a driver and... I see the wind, what's the wind doing? Wind, wind slightly in off the left, so I'm going to just aim it straight down the middle. I know Harvey's going to hit it in the left tree. First D nerves, tree's left. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh my goodness. Shot, <laughs> and this? Harvey, you just got hustled, my boy. You thought I was going to shoot 100 today. Um, oh, I love the confidence, Marty. Love it. So speaking of, you know, confidence and a bit of context, we have, of course, played a, a few customary uh, practice rounds. And I can say that I was wholeheartedly concerned when both of them shot at least six over on the first hole. So I really hope you guys have been um, hitting the range. Hey, Jared? You are the bar's been set low, Court, so we can only get better, put it that way. Um, oof. First tee nerves, come on Harvard, bring it. <laughs> <Right left. laughs> How's the shakes, boy? 
Oh, oh no, no come with a fade. Oof, and I don't like fades. I don't know how to play for those. No, baby. Get a lot. Oh, no. Bobby, I thought you were supposed to be the best driver on the tour. No, I don't know, Martin. I need to come what to you for tips with a fade. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, Jared, when you prepare for a tournament, is there any kind of, um, you know, pre-routine that you, that you take when you, um, you know, leading up to a big event? Um, before an event courts, um, my pre-shot routine, is that what you're saying? Well, Sorry. just your routine in general. I mean, your pre-shot routine at this present moment in the stream is non-existent because it's, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, well, this is just play safe and miss it, maybe, perhaps. That's what I'm thinking over this. Um, for a for a tournament court, um, yeah, just kind of general stuff like the guys. I like to obviously get there a few days before, um, like and prepare and have a look at the course. Obviously, sometimes we've got proams and all of that. So, you know, you got to get there a couple of days early, get comfortable in your surroundings, a couple of practice rounds on the course you're going to play, and and away you go. You know. Oh goodness! And you've just gone bunker to bunker there, Jared. Well, representing Durban on the beach. Thanks. So Biagio has asked here, Jared, do you prefer oh, prepping yeah. in Durban or Josie? Sorry, what was that called? Uh, Biagio wants to know where you prefer <laughs> prepping, uh, in Durban or in Josie? Uh, yeah, we go. The long-standing <laughs> argument on our WhatsApp group I, I, for the I, last I think Mark, ne Mark Hollick needs to ask that question, be involved in that question as well. Well, Martin, let's hope we go better than that hook in the water last time. I see you moving a bit right this time. Harvey, I know you're short game, bro. I just need to hit it somewhere on the green, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've seen your putting, boy, on this game. Ooh. There goes that left one again. Long left. Oh, Kick left down. on the slope. Go, you good thing. Hot. Get up there in that deep stuff. Oh, typical clue folk for getting the lies there. Typical clue folk. Always gets the lies next to the green. <laughs> So, oh, no. Jared, you've definitely got to be one of those people that whenever there's a tournament, you're the first guy around the green asking for everyone's money. Um, would you consider yourself a bit of a betting man? I would definitely say so, Courts. Yeah, I mean, I like playing practice rounds when we have the opportunity. Lots of my stable mates like Martin and Michael. <laughs> I think sometimes, you know, when you're playing, it can keep it competitive in what you could be facing for the, for the week, you know, when you're putting your own money on the line. So, you know, I enjoy that when we, I enjoy that when we play. Harvey, and, Harvey and doesn't shut up with the practice rounds. That's the only problem. Oh, so it's a, you know, a bit disruptive. Just, but it's, you know, at least you're bringing the competitive oh, heat. No. <laughs> so when That's you guys usually... That's one of the best usually... bunker shots I've in 20, <laughs> 20. Yeah. When you guys usually do bets at golf, like what are the kind of things that you, you know, are up for stakes? Um, oh my goodness. No, I can't worry, concentrate. I'm here to Collins you today. Jackson. That was Ooh, a bit... down the hill. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's no break here. So I've seen this putting, bro. This is diabolical. And no! How did Sorry, he up boy. and down and make four? <laughs> oh, Jared, I'm hoping there's not going to be big numbers for you, because we're chatting about bets, and you know, I think Get having oh, brilliant, big. having all performed relatively well in the hole. Um, what kind of bet are we going to put on today? Considering I've gone birdie and the two of you have gone par par. Oh, of course, you too, good. Well, considering I was just thinking about it, that we've got, you know, outstanding bets already with Mo Salah versus oh, Harry Kane. It didn't take him long to bring up Liverpool, eh? Yeah, Mo Salah and Harry oh, Kane, you know. You know, Court, these Spurs supporters, they, you know, they like to have those big traps before season <laughs> start, you know, Court, and, and big belief in the Harry Kane, you know. But unfortunately, we're taking goal scorers of Salah and uh, Marnie versus Kane and Son, and I think I'm going to be in a bit of credit for this match. So what are we playing for, Marty? Let's play for 100 bucks. I don't know if, I don't I, know if we're allowed to bet, but let's play for 100. I know Gary John's taking me over Bibby as well, so we'll see. I'm definitely oh, in for really? 100 bucks each, guys. Okay, okay, we're in. Course, I don't know about you. Yeah, course, what are you going to do? Are you just going to rip one dead straight? 100%, boys. Oh, uh, yeah, we go. As I say, mm, when thanks. it's breezy, hit easy. Sorry, boys. A rapper. Thanks. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys are sportsmen, and I know that you guys have got quite a competitive fantasy football league because, you know, as professional sportsmen, I know you guys oh, no. have got all a really big vested interest in sport. Um, out of the two of you, who's currently doing better? 
Uh, currently, right now, I came stone last in fantasy yeah. last season, so it could only improve courts while I watch Martin hook this in the trees. Oh, Martin. Uh, that's fair way. Oh, that's oh right, you're man. joking. Harvey, come, Harvey came stone last last year and claimed that he was the best fantasy football player on the whole Court. group. You still try to make that where, argument after you came stone last. Where are you currently lying now, Roa? Who's above who? I don't know. I, we haven't played a game in like six weeks. I haven't looked. So considering that sport is kind of um, you know, at, a, at a low at the moment. Go. Oh, shut, Martin. Great one. What do you guys That's kind me, of do? Oh, sorry, Jared. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that you actually hit the ball. Yes, your baby. Did I give him yards there? Oh, I'm so proud, Jared. So tell me, guys, what Ooh. are you kind of doing at the moment to keep yourselves busy? Um, I've got a fake imaginary friend on my shoulder, of course. Um, <laughs> he keeps me occupied oh, um, during the day. Sometimes, you know, we have some deep conversations. But um, other than that, courts, it's uh, a lot of swing drills in the garden and pretend we're having a great time, but meanwhile we're not. Um, but there's some good th you know, the good things about it is we can just claim it goes straight every time because you don't know where it's actually going. <laughs> and going back to young Martin here with furniture. Where, where have you been doing those swing drills? Play it to the it's left your foot. bed or in the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know, bro, but uh, let's check you at this water. I'm going safety right. Safety right, right. I checked you go with the shoulders right there. Good play. What a oh, shot, that's... bro. You've been oh, practicing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah that's All perfect. under the cot, yeah. All right, let's zone in here, brothers. I, like I, that right right well. I was going to say, Jared, talk us through your outfit here. Is this something you typically <laughs> wear on the golf course? No, Quartz, I, I just try to get into my... Oh, oh no! That's what happens when you talk on the backswing, get, hey? Hit the tree. Get out of there! Oh, no, oh, how's dead. that for a break? <laughs> Stone dead. How's, how's that for a break? Typical, my luck. Oh, no. Harvey, talk us through this one, please. I, I reckon tree's 90% air, cuz I'm going for it. Oh, goodness. I Big think that's going to work. Man, this thing didn't run off. Oh, my word. Oh, no. This is three-way country. Oh, Daddy. All right, courts. You're too good. Let's have a peek at you. No, don't worry, boys. So, Martin, what have you been doing at home, keeping yourself busy? Yeah, yeah. I've managed to put up a net at my house. So, I'm actually able to hit some balls, unlike Harvey, who's just swinging in front of the mirror. Mm, mm, um, mm. But yeah, I'm just trying to stay What's fit and healthy. in the back there, I know, I need to change to a flop here. Oh yes, here we go. Change to that A-time. Go, Why you good thing. Why you doing A-time? Yes, you, brother. Oh, you Put you'd pull putter from here anyway, boys. Deep so in the talk. pockets in that back water. Here comes the nerves, the square button. Oh, daddy. It's Martin? starting to show on hole two. Um, Sheldon Stain wants to know, what do you think the worst shot you've ever hit in a tournament is? as you stand over this important chip. Run. Oh, Ooh, that's not a very good chip, Martin. Oh no. You can get a half here, would you? I've, I've seen Harvey, he came and played against, um, there was, we had a game at Cotswold Downs, which one of the courses. Wasn't there. it your worst shot, Martin? Why is it me? No, no, Jared, you can give Martin's one if you'd like, but I'm interested here, Martin. Tell no, me more. anyone's worst shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, let's give go for Harvey's thing. worst shot. But, um, oh, no. and oh, me, Pat, me and, Harvey actually played together and we played against Laura and Mark, uh, Mark Hollick and Harvey claimed that the fairways were so wide at this golf course that he couldn't miss a fairway if he even tried and on the 10th thought Cotswold he didn't even make it over the ladies tee box <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, is, but, uh, what is that thing called the sausage roll it's called the sausage roll and while <laughs> I watch you yeah, just ram this thing six foot past let's have a go at you sausage roll That's no it. he's made it He's made it. Oh, good Ooh. weight, wrong line. Oh, no, that's, that's five. That's yeah. five. That's five. Anyway. Okay, yeah, Jared, do you have a worse shot for old Martin over there? Or anyone on Twitter? I'm, I'm, I'm open. I'm open. I've actually. Oh, too hot. Good. Oh, bad shot that Martin's hit. Mm. Well, it doesn't have to be Martin. Mm. Maybe someone on tour that you've uh, had a practice round and you've seen something and you've been, oh dear. Um, practice round and oh dear. Maybe maybe some of the shots that you told me Hollick hit when you played the teams championships together. 
When was that? When did we? When what? What year? Because I played. I I poked the team. I'll be honest. This year, <laughs> let's, think, let's think back to last year. All well, right, one boys. of my best shirts yep. was was Holix. Yeah. What's that? No, I was just going to say that we we all made some good pars there. But you can tell me about um, Holix uh, bad shots. I, I, I remember Michael complaining to me in the team champs this year that the that the rough was really bad at Dangford. So I was hearing this for about eleven holes. And he kept on complaining about the lies that he got. And eventually, as his partner, I just turned around and said to him, Brother Bear, let's be honest here. Why don't we just hit one on the fairway and then we won't get a bad lie? And he looked at me a little stunned and thought, Oh my word, you're right. <laughs> uh, if only it were that simple. So tell me, yeah. I mean, we're, we're speaking about Hollock now and we, we've chatted a little bit about betting. Um, I've heard a story where you bet with Michael Hollick over a pair of shoes or get right? Oh no, you're going there, courts. I, I just, love this free reign wanna... that I've got of Hollick and he can't defend himself. I love this platform. <laughs> so we fly 18 holes. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the shoe bet that you guys had. Well, we used to be very friendly with, um, with a guy that was slightly older than us growing up in Durban and he already moved to college in the States before we had, you know, oh, finished our right. uh, our junior school, our high school. And uh, he came back with like a whole bunch of stuff that was given to him by his college. So he didn't want to take it all back to the States or whatever. And he just gave like all of us a bunch of stuff like gloves and balls and a few other things. And Michael got a pair of shoes. And I used to have my eyes on these Adidas's with those three black straps. And I was like, brother, I want those things. So one day we went out for nine holes at my edgecombe. Sit! But you good thing like a police dog. Sit in that corner. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take good that. Good shot. Uh, yeah, I went to the at the time. Well, we still are, but in we younger days, we wanted to kill each other. And I said to him, okay, well, let's play for those pair of shoes, big boy. And uh, proceeded to beat him for a little game, and then I came home, and my mom and dad were at the front door, and they spotted me holding these pair of shoes, and they, uh, my dad said to me, "You can't take shoes off another boy," and I said, "But dad, he would have taken them off me," and he's like, "Okay, yeah, uh, you're right," and that was that, of course. Came no home brilliant. with a pair of shoes. No, good win, good win. Great chip there, Martin. Get Lovely. it, bogey Excellent. time. Come on, Harvard with a two work here. Oh Speaking no, we are for the wedge. Um, yeah, cheapest, Jared. No, no putter, this is man. Go, go with the default. Pull the putter. That's not my weird from here. <laughs> uh, Martin, we're speaking about wins. Tell yeah. me, you've won um, recently on tour. What was that like for you? Who was that? No, it was a, it was a great, a great experience. Um, that tournament was actually supposed to be, I quite, think, quite soon if it wasn't for this lockdown. Um, but obviously, got me into all the big events, which is, which is what you're looking for. And playing out in Swaziland, what, what's that kind of golf course like? How does it differ from maybe something that you'd usually see here in South Africa? Uh, it's just, I'd say it's a lot shorter than most of the courses we play. And I know that that, that format in the Investec um, tournament is all about making birdies and eagles. So it's quite nice. You have to be um, fairly aggressive and just make as many birdies as you can in that tournament at least. And what was the final score that you oh! got? Oh, Jared, nearly. Well done, guys. I'm oh, really impressed that you yeah. brought your A game here. Am I going one down here? Yeah, yeah zero. Like best in champion. That's, that's quite a thing. Courts, best the champion. That's, that's a big 10. Oh. Let's see how he puts that. And he tweets it. Thanks. Take the half. Half of the three stab. Yeah, you, of course, I remember the one year playing in Best X was here a few years back when I could actually still, you know, in the court. That tournament there is serious amount of eagles. Those plus five, how many did you make when you won, Martin? I'm not sure, bro. The only thing I can remember from that tournament is you forgetting your passport at the border. You did and not to do that, you, that day. Day. you did not go there. He wins. <laughs> we had to drop you at that game lodge, and Holly came and picked you up the next day. Oh, so you got your passport. Oh, so that looks all like the good way to the border. Me Martin. <laughs> oh my goodness, Courtney, <laughs> you're sliding in there, minus one. Thanks, bearing the boys. Cheers. No problem, guys. So, Jared, you left cheers, your passport. Thanks. 
Yeah, well, Martin fetched me because he lives in the sticks in Kluth. That doesn't classify as Durban. So he obviously adds an hour to the trip when you go to Swazi, you know. So, you know, he picked me up on the way through. And then, yeah, it was very early in the morning and I obviously wasn't in, you know, got everything in check. And, and he hadn't put his moisture on his pack of on you. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, like talking to the viewers on uh, moisturizer, Marty. What what is that guilty confession you told me the one day oh, since you started traveling not, about no moisturizer? Why don't you tell me about that, Marty? Because you told me something. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember you up campfire stories. Yeah. Oh, uh, trying to save face in front of your bras out there, Martin. Because oh, I remember no, walking no. down the fairway in a practice round. You said, since I traveled with Harvey, I put moisturizer on. Oh. I looked at you. I was like, cut. Harvey, for like watch when you put moisturizer on. If that didn't put me off, then I don't I'm know. I'm gonna what be you. honest. I'm gonna be honest. You ain't hitting the fairway yet, brother. This is trees, right? Thanks, cheers. Okay, All hang on. Let's take a bet you. on this. I think rod rough. I say, hey, are we taking a bet? All right, Martin. If you get this on the fairway, uh, we're gonna give away a sleeve of Titleist balls to oh, first person to comment. Sad. If you rough there, then that's a uh, hundred bucks for Jared. Okay, tell me when you've got a comment. Tell me when I can hit. Yeah, go for he, it. Oh no. Oh no, he pulled it inside. Oh, oh, no, no, that's fine. Is it? That's got to be left rough. Right. It's left. It's rough. Oh, get in there, rough. Oh, oh my joke. goodness, you are just <laughs> on there. Who won that? Who was the first person to comment? You, you can, you can, um, Mr. Carrick Cropper, congratulations. We'll be sending you a, a sleeve of Titleist Pro V1s. <laughs> One thing that I have to say, Sunshine Tour professionals, you oh. guys are so, so lucky that you get to hit Pro Get-pop V1s it. wherever Get-pop. you go on the driving Go-pop. range. Go-pop. Sorry, right? Ro- ro- yards. Thanks. <laughs> Daddy, two nine nine. <laughs> Thanks. And Martin, I mean, you are sponsored by Titleist. You know, I mean, are they good to you? What's your your favorite club in the bag? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, Titleist, I would say, has to oh be the best goodness. brand. Of course, uh, even Harvey's recently um, started to wear the Titleist cap. Mm, um, I like that. <laughs> But yeah, no, I enjoy my Titleist clubs. I would say the best one is probably the Scotty Cameron um, putter that I have. I think it's a Golo 5S. And, yeah, um, of course, of course I've used say, the ball and glove. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, because, I mean, Jared, you've got a funny story. I think it's the driver in your bag? Yeah, I mean, I've used the same original Ping G driver for most of my career, you know, oh, with the original DM on a shaft. I just want to watch what Martin here. Go over the back. Because that's a good shot, well played. So yeah, of course, I've had the driver pretty much most of my 10 years or something. I've been on the tour, original Diamana, and uh, I enjoy it. If if I ever, you know, if I run out of stuff, I could always use that as my bra. You know, I reckon I could tan a few birds on my driver, it's that big. That gives me a lot of confidence before I peg it up, that I shouldn't miss it. Sit! I, I think the most interesting club in his bag is definitely the putter, Harvey. The one with the, the, the wheel alignment weights on it. How, how do you hit that wood, bro? Mine bounces harder. You're the luckiest golfer I know, oh, bro. there we go. Oof, tough out of the bunker here. Softly. Oh, of course. Softly. Yeah, but pretty well played. It's manageable. Come on, I need par here. I know Martin's going to make drop from the back. Harvey with Come the wheels in his hand. Everyone watch out. <laughs> Okay, hey, come on, brother. All right, third shot here for you, Jared. Run! Oh, oh no. no! That's why you got to pull the putter. Put in. Oh no! <laughs> Came with a stub. I should have maybe. Okay, right. well let's have third a look at. Third shot here. here for you, Marty. Martin misses lots of greens, so he's got a very good short game. So don't let yourself down now. I need a chunk here. This on the front foot. Hopefully, put a bit extra spin on it. Oh, front foot, you going here? Ooh, very ah. technical. Okay. Let's just stub that toe right in there. Oh, there we go, boy. Oh, it's a great Take shot, Oh, Martin. no! Your old caddy, oh. Gary John, taught me that yesterday. Did he? Front foot, yeah. That's right, a joke. Jared, I didn't, know, I didn't know that. Playing I didn't know over. that little... I need this. I'm going to go mad if I hold this. Come on, Arvid. No, I'm still getting... No, I pulled it. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
it's not a bad effort, but it's not in oh, either. Oh no, boy, just sides to plus two, thanks. I'd take that in a tournament. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Come on, cause. Outside edge there, I've smoked it, oh. hit the cup, get in. Oof, pressure oh punching. my goodness, cause. What a shot. This is big. Because when oh, I've seen Martin miss this and it goes eight foot past, I saw it yesterday. Oh, that toes up. Oh, center cup. Oh, no. Oh, right, that one's on, good. Jared, this is pressure. You've you got to stay in here. Oh, beautiful, boys. All right, so we're heading out now to our next hole. Number five there. It's a bogey for Jared. Par, oh, par no. for Marty and I. Uh, oh. Jared, two over, Marty, one yeah. over, and um, I'm one under, so I'll be starting us off on this hole. So tell me, guys, we're playing Glendower here, but um, would this be a, a different scenario if we were playing Mount Edgecombe in real life? Who would be the winner there? Uh, I'll let Harvey answer that one. I'm interested to see what he says. <laughs> well, not necessarily your home course is always the best where you play. As you've admitted, at row, it just doesn't suit the fade clue. Is that what you said the other day? No, it doesn't. But oh, I'd still okay. back myself. Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. I don't know. You and I at Mount Edgecombe. I think it would be a good game, I must say. I must say. Um, if I can make contact. Maybe yeah. borrow Titchmoor's Cleveland TT irons with Graphite Miyazaki's. I reckon I could give you a go. <sighs> but if he came yeah, to Zimbabwe, of course. He's, he's a lion I remember. <laughs> I remember I remember a young Thundercat that just got his tour card and we played a uh, uh, my mate said to me, Oh, Martin Rowe is joining and gee he's got very good since he's come back from college and I remember standing on the first tee at Zimbali and he says, Alright brother, we'll just play for a thousand Rand out here today. And I said, Sorry, <laughs> what? Uh -oh. You did, cuz because I brought it back down to five hundred, hit the tree. Your oh, baby. Oh, no. Yes, your baby. Now the gas merchant has started. Come on, Harvey. No, sorry, I was lost concentration. I was listening to Harvey's story there. Oh, well, you see, it's all part of the plan, Courts. That's how you get in their heads. Oh, no, Jared, I like it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, boy. That's out of bounds there normally on this golf course. No, no it's not out of bounds up there. Unless it's there so open, then you've hit it straight into the fan park. Now we've got a lawsuit on our hands. Oh my god. Harvard. Okay, oh, Rowe's got a chip up. Deep rough. After the wedge. I think, think? think 7 nine's fine out of here. 7 nine's not going to get up. Why did I play a chip? Oh my word. <laughs> I should have played a full shot. He's got 2 90 for his third, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> wow, guys. Come we on, did Harvard. not come and play today, did we now? Are we going to take this on? It's giving oh, me the option, but the draft is in. So what are we going to do here, Jared? Walk me through the plan. Sorry, courts. I already just pulled the trigger. No, don't up. worry. And I, sorry, and I love sorry. what you've done. I love what Yo, you've done. That's kind of how I play, and I took my medicine, considering my friend's got 200 for his third to this back left pin. So here's a question from Luke Jerling. Harvey, when you get yeah. up and down from the rough with a putter, does it count yes. as a two putt or a one putt <laughs> on the stats card? Mm, that's a very good question. It just depends on how good your greens and reg stats have been for the day. You've just got to balance it out, courts, and you don't look like a prawn. That's my best answer. Brilliant. So you always, um, you 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 would you say your greens and regulation stats are a bit inflated? Well, since since uh, I couldn't find the middle of the club for the last six months out there on the tour. I definitely claim a 20 meters left or right, that's a green and red. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this, because this is a very big shot to a back left pin. How far has he got here? Ooh, 183, back left pin. Ooh, daddy. This has just got hook written all over it and getting busy. That's what I want to see. All the fans want to see this, I'm Martin. All your of fans. Heart. All your fans want to see it's a big moment, Martin. Check at him moving his stance. I don't know that. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> gosh, Martin. Big kick left and go, you good thing. So, guys, I just want to remind you that Heine shot six over on this golf course and suffered Yo, we a dramatic way. amount of abuse. In fact, we've instated a rule that if you lose by five or more, um, you need to do a challenge. And we're going to obviously let the guys in the comments decide. 
um, if we've got if we've got a loser here and it's by more than five, what they need to do. I think Heine still owes us. What is um, it? His, uh, yeah, oof, you got a bit of a putt there, Jared. That's three putt there, Harvard from the slide. Easy, but there's a tough chip here, Martin. Oh, I'm really what are you nervous here. I'm like looking good here to make bogey. That's why. Come on, Rover. Come on, Heavy the chunk here. Harvey, what would you do here in real life, yeah? Straight out, 60 degree flop, bro. Take the chances. Well, I don't know, Ro, what are you going to do with this, all this back foot know, stuff that you do? Can't do much back foot here. Oh, sound a little heavy. Softly. Oh, oh daddy, he's right? got that for no, bogey! <laughs> <laughs> Boys are in for a double or a trip. It's Thanks. fine, bro. I'm beating you by one, so I honestly couldn't well, care. Not after this off, huh? as well. Bro, how many shots did you beat me by yesterday before I pulled my all-nighter? Be honest, what were you ahead of me last night? No, I can't remember. You pulled out because you're over. Okay, how many shots were you ahead of me after nine holes? Fifteen? No, Ten? I never knew. Maybe Ten like shots? Five. No, it wasn't five. You're talking so, uh, I can definitely shots. say yeah, that in the meantime... My boss not. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Roa. No, Sorry, boy. You, you guys, I am so impressed at the dramatic, dramatic improvement because the first time that I played with you, I was actually concerned that we, this was going to be a, like a three and a half hour stream um, because that was just the level of golf. And look at this patch here, Jared, an absolute <laughs> stunner. It's what okay, you needed. I'll take that. Thanks, sports. Yeah. Well done for hitting the range, boys. Thanks, course, but you're still beating us. Oh, daddy. Oh, yes, yeah, my friend here. Yeah. Oh, no, big downhill. Whoa, 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 that looked like a big stroke. Oh, big stroke. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> oh, Get no. the seat belts out, cuz. <laughs> Court, stop this now. You're showing us up. <laughs> Love this. Oh, this is big. That's a bit Ooh, of a tester here, big. Martin. We need Ooh, something good. Oh, how's that lipping on the left? Oh, what do you mean, bro? That was in. I can't deal okay, with your Jared, life. this is an important putt, hey? We don't want to smoke this one past the hole. <laughs> Harvey, don't come with the shakes. Okay, good oh, no. one in there, boys. All right, heading out to hole number six. Why don't go last in every hole? Well, Jared, I don't okay. want to explain to you how golf works. Okay. Um, but, <laughs> right, boys, we're heading through to hole number six there. Uh, a six for Martin, a nice Sorry, half for Courtney, and well a five on that there body. for Jared. Sorry, Jared, if you get the worst score, you two have lost. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, okay. I don't okay, know if well, you that out now. Okay. Let's see who tees off first, yeah? <clears throat> Well, it, 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 I'm sure well, it's going to be... not for one of us. <laughs> not you guys. Um, but while I give you a bit of time to, you know, think that while I'm uh, planning my shot, um, we've got to talk about this, and I think this is probably the best time. You know, Jared, you are incredibly well known for a certain mishap um, <clears throat> that happened some time ago. Uh, yes. My book book, my special person, people made T-shirts, A.B. de Villiers spoke about it. I mean, what was that like for you? Courts, in the initial beginning, it was quite intense, I must say, because I didn't know how to deal with it, because it was such a different situation, you know. But uh, as time went on, I sort of kind of embraced it. And it was and it was great, you know. Most of the people took it in good spirits and, you know, in good luck. Um, but, yeah, it was absolutely crazy. I mean, I sent it to a wrong group. I think my mate Michael might have taken it and shared it with a few um, Schlanger guys. And if it gets in those hands, you know, you're in trouble. Um, and then I crossed the Swazi ah! border and I had 479 WhatsApps and I knew, oh, this is a bit out of the ordinary. We, we, we can't put in this amount of peeps. So, yeah, and, it was proper courts, but good fun. But now tell me, I, and I have to know this, and, and as a woman, this is, this is crucial for me. Is that really how you speak to your girlfriend, hey? It did at the time, yes. I think I was a bit in trouble at that stage, so I did kind of enhance things and maybe chuck out one or two extra nicknames, I'll be honest. I was not I was in a bit of trouble no. while I watched this guy left oh, and take a, big, take a big bounce and go into the deep rough. Oh, no, another great laugh. So, yeah, of course, I, I definitely added a few extra nicknames at the time, being in a little <laughs> bit of trouble, but, uh, yeah, yeah, in general, that's kind of how we did it, really. And then what's more amazing, Jared, is 
not too long after that, there was a massive feud between you and a guy called Biagio. Oh, now, mm, obviously, yes. I know you, and I've seen Mr. Biagio. He's been <coughs> well on the comments here. Um, mm, a lot of those voice oh, notes. That oh, that's a great chip there, solid. Oh, a lot of those God. voice notes went around. I know they were all on my WhatsApp groups. Um, I mean, I, could you believe that it happened to you twice? <laughs> well, of course, um, I couldn't believe it, to be honest. I didn't know if a mate was going to go that far. Go ball. Oh, oh, why did it spin? Tester. How does it spin? B-A-G-O. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we've got an up-and-down relationship, to call it, to be honest. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's good fun in most times. Um, if you want to have a good argument, you're definitely going to get one with him. I think uh, coming from Kersney in a boarding school environment, he could talk his way out of a can of worms, as we said. He's very good. But, uh, yeah, in most times it's good fun, Courts. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I did face a bit of stick after that, I must say. Caught a few, caught a few jo laughs and jokes from a few of the guys around. But, uh, yeah, it was good fun, Courts. And uh, we're oh, speaking... No, oh, Jared, get in yes, there. You so oh, oh. You but get you. No. Get <laughs> Thanks. Now the heat's on. Oh, little daddy. Ooh. Oh, pressure, Pacha Martin. And solid. Oh, in. no, man. Harvey, oh. this is going to come down to the wire, and I don't know those shakes that you have. I must admit, they are starting to be in your favor. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, they are, but we're going to strap one down the seventh hole and put the heat on you, Roa. Oof, because it is heaty coming into the stretch here, boys. Ooh, this Both is of big you. down the stretch. Three Ooh. over. Ooh. Three, Next four down the street here. Yeah. I must say, Ro, we have done better than what we were in a day. We've got to pat ourselves on the back. Come on, Marty. Yeah, I know. It wasn't looking great. And go off into the sunset. <laughs> well, well, with you with a carrot in your hand, I'll be just fine. Well, Ro, are you always favourite, Joe? You knew it. You were giving me stick the whole time. I think you're a bit surprised I'm holding my own, yeah? I don't know. I think you're just trying to play the underdog card. But meanwhile, you're up at Hopper Street this morning practicing on the range. Yeah, I don't know, Roa. It's worth saying to people, I'm going to bed and then they're online. I mean, I, I just, how do you trust those kind of people, Court? Oh. How, do you, <laughs> how do you trust those kind of people? Uh, um, guys, I've got a question here and it's quite ambiguous. So I'll, I'll leave it to one of you guys to answer. Um, something about the squirrels in um, Umschlanga. Ooh, ooh. I think, I think Harvey Martin. needs to answer that question. Let's start with Martin. Are the squirrels in Umschlange treating you, brother bear? So give us a bit of context there, guys. Tell us about the squirrels there, brother. There's not many, um, not many left because apparently Harvey's got them all in his pockets. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no, I'm feeling the heat now. Come with Especially a big block. The if the there was anywhere active. you didn't want to be, that's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I'm playing for five, yeah, guys. Harvey, oh, that's chip out, I'm sorry. Yeepers, I'm in big trouble, yeah. That okay. is Sunday Calvary brought to you. Uh, boys, Can't it looks pop. like the, the loser here, If I mean, I don't Stay know, there. Jared, you're such a metro Get guy, wrong. I don't know if you do already. Uh, someone's Get saying wrong. that you need to shave your armpits if you lose by more than five. Shave my armpits? Yeepers, the rash would be bad. Woo! Yeah, he probably, like, uh, he shaves I'll, the whole body anyway. I'll get back to you. I'll phone you next week. <laughs> Harvey, I've, seen, do, I've yeah. seen Harvey at a tournament, a tournament day, spend, yeah. spend 30 minutes in a shower I don't and even shave know his whole do, entire yeah. body. Whole entire I am body. so poked here. It's a joke. Okay, what are you going to do here, Jared? Walk, walk us through. Jeepers, I am poked here. I don't know what to do here, Quartz. I'm just staring at big trees. I don't know how to do the back foot. Ooh, daddy. Uh-oh, get through. Where is that? Oh, get on the fairway. Oh, wow. Oh, no. How that even got out the rough? Oh, like that. Jeepers, I'm in trouble, yeah. Big gas merchant, Harvey, yeah. Rower's got the edge, yeah. Yeah, he's giving you a bit of a gap here, Martin. Yeah, and we've got a par five coming as well. I don't think you can reach him too. Well, I don't know. I've been out driving you today. Um, you guys do a lot of traveling on tour and that sort of thing. I know that, um, you know, we've got Avis as a partner and a lot of the guys take hide cars through them. Um, what's your guys' kind of preferred method of, of getting around and do you have a travel buddy? 
Go for it, Marty. You can answer. Yeah, I, I normally, uh, I, I had a caddy for a long time on the tour who I used to travel with, um, called Darren Myers. But otherwise, I travel with a couple of different cars. Obviously, just depending. I mean, we all try to help each other out with accommodation, and if people know other people in certain areas, then it makes yeah. it a bit cheaper. Can I? Can we wave the next four ball through? Or just, <laughs> you know, just, uh, thanks. Kick Go. left. Kick left. I can't deal with you, bro. And you, Jared, how do you get around usually? I mean, I don't want to speak now because otherwise you're going to take 40 yeah, minutes course. to hit your shot. Yeah, of course. A lot of times it's Michael or Martin, guys that are from Durban. It kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, there's not many of us on I'll get there. The tour that oh, actually... my oh, you oh my goodness, Jared. Jared you absolutely today. needed that, boy. That oh, is huge. He's just pulled one. That is BMT. Sorry, boy. Ooh. Yeah, of course, I've traveled with a few of my mates, a few of the peeps around. Um, Durban makes it easier because you start your leg from here. Um, and the band is really good on the car. If you dive in with Martin Rowe and Darren Miles, <laughs> uh, that used to be really good back in the day. I still uh, haven't got a, a, a lift to an event in the 135 either. Have you ever been in, in that three liter twin guzzler? You've never offered me a lift I in the 135 I can't even make Harry Smith on a tank in that thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, Jared, apparently you're quite a fan of cars. Of course, I've had 10 cars. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've, I enjoy my cars. I can consider myself a car admirer um, or a car yeah, person. Um, I don't know. What are you doing here, Martin? Can you explain to us with this? Uh, I'm trying to put the front foot as well. What's up with this front foot? You're on an upslope. Softly, Martin. That's what's up. Come Go on. Right. We, need, we need the drama here, boys. We need a bit of pressure. <laughs> and this is going to be I can't un believe I'm inside a Martin for three. After all of that. <laughs> no, that, was a, that was a great scramble there, Jared. i got to tell you. World class. I reckon courts from here, play safe and miss. I'm telling you, it's the best advice. Ooh. I... Um, Jared, I've got another question here from Josh Walton. Um, yeah. He says... Does Jared uh, know when uh, Frank's is going to be open after lockdown? <laughs> Ooh, Frank's missions. Ooh, that can get dangerous. Ooh. You know, of course, you can lose the sunshine tour card if you're not careful at Frank's. While you watch <laughs> Martin, yeah, just uh, oh, miss the no. Harvard to take the lead. This is big. But I can't wait for Frank's to be open. That half a chicken deboned. Ooh, daddy. You can get involved there, court. Ooh, big swaps. <laughs> oh. Big swaps that you can take place at the old Frank. Come on, Harvard. Take Come the on, lead Jared, here. This is absolutely critical. Oh, You've got to make the putt here. Sit, 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 sit. I've or given you it. Sit, sit. How oh, did you Come on, go. Jared Harvey. And let me tell you, I know that Martin has been putting hours in at the range. He's called in various... Uh, coaches, um, experts. Oh, has he? Oh, really? Oh, it's no, it is, it is, it is Ooh, true, Jared. I don't know who you... Oh, oh, boys, I'll this be honest, I've tried a little bit. This massive, is gripping yeah. stuff. Come on, Harvard. Four Big over Martin, down three over Jared, one over, All one I'm under Courtney. All I'm saying is, Courts, if I have... Why? He's never going to hear the end of this, so you better be good on the last two. <laughs> No, all right. So we're coming the, down the, our whole. I don't whole think South Africa Europe would hear the end of this. Gonna hear the end of this, rubber, if if I pulled through, cause so. Uh, mm. No, boy, you'll be definitely best in derbs after this if you manage to win, eh? I don't think so. You've got the shiniest pins, even though they pins. You could honestly, cause sun radiates <laughs> off those legs, bro. Woo! Well, okay. Let's see what you have left here. You have definitely got the shiniest pins I've seen, Martin. If the squirrels aren't keen, bro, then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't know, brother. I don't, I really know. don't between know. You and Ant, between you and Anton Haig, I don't know. I think you both beat kings properly. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, brother. What so a I've got another question here from Phil Ferguson. He says, um, kind of with sports diversifying in format and length, um, what do you guys have in terms of alternate format ideas? Anything interesting? Alternate formats. Yeah, if we had to change something up on the tour, what would you like to see? I, I would probably say a, a match play event would be quite good. Uh, I'd like to play a tournament where 
you could hopefully get 30 mulligans, but I don't know if the tour is <laughs> going to pass that course. Uh, <laughs> but I've just hit a 309 yards dead straight here, court. So, yeah. I, um, you know, if the pressure's not on now, then... Then it's we'll never going to be. Oh. But that overhanging branch there on the left there, that's got to be daunting. One behind. Oh, but you've striped it, Martin. Great well, I'm not sure, eh? Could that kick Is grass that and go... Do you think grass. so? Kick grass! Oh, no, that's perfect. No, that's you. absolutely no. Come on. solid. I've never there, seen bounces like this. Holly can I know you're the luckiest golfer in real oh, life. Don't now I'm talk. starting again on virtual golf. I can't <laughs> believe this. Oh, my word, Harvey. I've and never in my life seen dancers. We've also changed the sunshine to a logo. What do you guys think of that? We've gone from the blue and yellow to kind of a green and gold. What are your thoughts? I think it looks very cool, Courts. As soon as I, it's very striking. As soon as I log into my Twitter, it's like, you know, it's, it's so like striking and diminutive. I, I just like how it looks with the gold and it yeah. kind of like gives you that springbok feel, you know? Yeah. That kind of like, yeah. I don't know. I just find it very striking and I enjoy it. Oh, looks really cool. What, how good is this like under pressure? Oh, she is good under absolute pressure. Absolute beauty. Stay, I know there's no, a I can't oh, believe this. In home and two. Gee, oh. this oak is a joke. When oh, the coach is on, Rowdy, Rowdy, you are I just want you to see. I know you, you, haven't had a, you haven't had a starvy blue in about 20 minutes. So I know that right hand is just jippering on the analog thing. Oh no, Jeremy! Oh. Oh. I can't believe it. He's Here off. comes the choke. It was the inevitable. Oh, oh yes, how's my backswing look? Oh, big, big slice. Oh no, no, I don't oh, know. No. Okay, Jared, what are we going to do here, Ham? Huh? Yeah, I don't know, of course. I'm thinking of going through the tree. I don't know how to play this low shot. You just do it with the pitch. Oh, that's probably gonna. Nope, that's oh, well no. in the trees. Oh no, Jared, have you that's bottled this? Just, that's just the right. He's <laughs> bottled merchant. it. He's bottled this. And flung a gas merchant. I can't believe I bottled this. No. Oh, the well, comments no, are going months. wild. The comments are gonna go mad. Come on with the unreal chip. You need sit. something good here, but right. Sit, sit, sit. Come down that slope. Down the slope. Oh, come on, baby. Come, oh, on, come baby. back. Come, on. come back. Move. Okay, I need Dude, that. You didn't even I'll know there was a slope there. Um, guys, do you have a favorite memory on tour? This question is from Peter LaRue. My favorite memory for myself personally was um, hugging my mother after winning at Zimbabwe. That's oh, that's awesome. Yeah, sentimental one, but yeah, I mean, years and years of playing on the tour, we don't win often, you know, Martin's yeah. still young, but uh, yeah, that, that's my favorite one, yeah. And I would have to say the same, same in terms of getting my first win, that was pretty special. I know my dad was there and one of my good mates, Ian Sprague, hopefully he's watching. Um, yeah, there were quite a few people there, so it was actually quite awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you played, yeah, so you played I'm Unreal just, that week. I'm, I'm I mean, just trying to figure out this part. Sitting, yeah, this is a tricky part, yeah. Mm. Just sitting at home watching a spectacle online, falling like a fan. And that what was... a spectacle online we're seeing right now. Well, oh, Martin, what a misread. Oh, Martin. Go, you good thing. Go, Ross, and go. How does that slow <laughs> up? <laughs> yes, as well. Come, bro, you got to make it. Get out the broomstick and oh, take a three putt, please. And then I suppose I'll take this opportunity, guys, um, to say a big happy birthday to Thomas Apt, our Deputy Commissioner. Oh, what a man. Happy birthday. Oh, that happy was nearly going to be for him. Tommy, Sorry, Thomas. The legend himself. We love you, Tommy. <laughs> I'm going to get a t-shirt made birthday, tomorrow. Tom. Love you, Tom. Okay, this is a huge putt, Jared Ham. Hey? This Absolutely is big. And I, looking at Martin's putt, it looked like it swung a lot. Oof. I don't know. This is I don't big. know either, Jared. <laughs> that looks left to me, bugger. I don't know. I'm scared of this break. Sit, 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 sit. Choice! Unbelievable, yes! Jared. Unbelievable. Hold it under the cross, you baby. Whoop! This is big now. Now is this one is a big now? putt, yeah. Imagine if I got a half on this hole. 
wouldn't hear the end of that either. Mm. Oh, this is big. A lot of shaking and moving in the feet. Yeah. A lot going Not on. Not too much in this, Martin. Come on, Oh, he's lady. done it. He's done oh, it. Oh, he pours it. Oh, boys, it is you under the pressure, right? It's unreal. Oh, I nearly missed that one. Oh, my word. I'm going to credit that to my coach, Matt Bright. Gave me a lesson last night. Okay, guys, so we're coming down the stretch here, and if you can believe it, it's three over, three over, both Martin <laughs> and Jared. It's all going to come down now to this final hole, which is brought to you by one of our fantastic tour partners, Muztech. And we could not ask for a better setting. Uh, the iconic ninth coming into the slightly sparse clubhouse. It's obviously Corona time, so uh, no cars, <laughs> no people. Um, all right, Martin, what are you going to do coming into this hole here? Talk me through it. I think I'm going to have to stay aggressive and pull the driver. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I know yeah, Harvey but... was, had the four iron in hand. I'm going to be honest. Rowers and Mr. Fair right, for safety. That would be a good one. We missed one, I think. I don't know. Downwind, they might be. Come on, Rowers. Oh, uh -oh. go left. Please. Uh -oh. Where's that right? No, that, that's, I don't know. I that's good. I can't see the angle. Oh, it's a good bounce it's as good well, point. Martin. <laughs> 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 Did you pay? I cannot deal with these bounces. Oh, my goodness. I hate that. That TV angle is the worst. 313 like yards. Up. What a drive. Great drive, bro. Great drive. Thanks, Bill. Well, I'm keen to see yours because you're the, you're the best driver on the tour. Mm, I don't know if I can do any. Ooh, great drive, Courts. Thanks, boys. Nice. Nice, nice. Well done. Uh, okay. the, on the chat here, we've got a uh, big credit to Mike Bernard. The course looks great. That's obviously uh, the green yeah. keeper there. Shot, Mark. Big Shot Mark. Mark. Love that point. And Sandy. I, know, I don't know if Sandy's watching. Maybe Callum's got we it on his We love Sandy. Shout out to Sandy. Yeah, great people out at Glendower. Nothing better than sitting having uh, a... Oh, Jared. No, oh, that's all right. Harvard. What's going on no. with the face? That's no. all right. No, that's perfect. Should kick left. I swear that was going straight towards the trees. Um, okay, boys, if you, could, okay. if you could enjoy a nice ice cold Vintook in a clubhouse, which would be your number one halfway house uh, in South Africa? Uh, Leopard Creek. 100%. Leopard Creek, oh, came. Eh? Yeah, if we, if we can get into the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I played like a junior team there once and we were in that clubhouse. It's fabulous. Wow. Um... I would say I like fan court the links. I like that. I just like that, you know, outside section at the links. It's so tranquil. And that's for me, courts. A fan <laughs> court would go <laughs> down very too, nicely Robert. there. Very, Absolutely. very nicely. That's Big very shot, cute, Robert. Bobby. And I'm going to confess, this isn't my favorite one because I played this earlier. This and I made is off the slope well. as well. <laughs> All right, what are you going to hit in here, Jared? We've got the sandwich um, out. Yeah, and it says 97 to 100 courts, but I'm not liking the side of your la with a back right pin. Uh oh, you've left it short. Oh, you. yes. oh, and he's Jared. got a wedge. Oh. No, man. That's going to be a hell of a stroke with a putter from there, my friend. <laughs> Jesus, boy, you're going to have to bring that wheel along and wait for that one. All right, this How is tight. How are you going to be, a row? I don't know. How aggressive is he going to go? I haven't seen it. It's gone straight in the air. Uh-oh. Oh, Martin. Sit. 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 Oh, my word. Oh, no, it's off as well, guys. Okay, it's still game on. Four yeah, we're in the money. Come on, Harvard. Come with a chip. I think yeah. you've got the easier chip. No, it's a long one. Guys, and this is more exciting than the, the Rory McIlroy Graham Storm playoff of 2016. <laughs> That's short, surely. Roll. Oh, you've left yourself a tester there. Oh, it's, that's no. massive. Going. You needed to get it closer. Been so much. I'm oh, pretty Martin, sure you're probably smoking Martin. in your house this is the at this point. Part of the game as well. Oh, Martin. Okay, here we go. The toe in, <laughs> low running runner. Or oh, he's stubbing it in that slope right there. In the slope, thanks. I'm going to trust my boy Gary John at the most critical time of the game. Yeah. I can't believe you got these tips off back foot. I didn't know anything of this. Oh. All right, Martin, what do you got here, bud? Roll. Go. Roll. Go. 
Oh, that's very oh, that's good. Right. Martin, 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 Martin always does this to me on final holes. One of these days, it's going to come my way. Oh, and the okay. hardest part. So oh, this, this is this is what it's all going to come down oh, to. Oh my god, Jared, oh, my if god. you lose this, we are we're going to see some shaved armpits, please, and some raw eggs. Oh no, oh no. You don't need to worry about the armpits. Those are those are really shaved. Oh, what are we those are really shaved. Up then down. I need to focus. All right, let's bring this one in. All right, let's let's. I don't know. I'm still gonna. Uh, uh, am I gonna go inside the green? Uh, <laughs> okay. I can't okay. watch. Oh, you to misread. Wait was good. Oh, oh no, Jared! Look at what you've done. You've left yourself a complete tester. No, no it's Racha. No. Well, courts, you just trying us up here. Minus one, first career. Yeah, I mean, guys, I'm taking you for a little <clears throat> pro am today. Oh, that one's for you, boys. Thank you. Well played, courts. Thank you. Well, well played. But this one's not about oh me, boys. Gosh. This one is about you, Jared Harvey. Massive I can't believe I made six punch. on the field. It's really well. about two foot off the lid. <laughs> okay, I'm giving it a go. Unbelievable, oh, Jared. Pressure putt. Oh my Pressure putt. This is yeah, we're going to hold it, but somehow <laughs> you haven't missed one of these yet. All eyes on you, rower. Stage is set. Putt to win. Martin I'm with a low Remember you said Ninth low rock green. the other day at Augusta. You were just underbarring all the time. Oh! Yes! Oh, he's so good! <laughs> well Boom! Fist pump, boy. Well. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so guys, final oh, scorecard there. Jared oh, yeah, makes a in the oh, pocket. Well played. While Martin makes a par there to beat well. him by one shot. Last remarks, gentlemen. No, thank you very much. That was uh, really, really enjoyable. Yeah, thanks a lot for having us. That was really cool. Thanks a lot, uh, Courts. Martin, well played. Courtney, you were definitely the out and out winner. Yeah. <laughs> 34. That is, that is oh, some good golf. Well played, Courts. Yeah, thanks well for having me. Well played, Marty. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you on the link soon. Have a later. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. So for everybody who tuned in and watched, we really hope that you enjoyed this. If you want to see more of this content, tell us who you would like to see next. Uh, we'll put up a winning post now on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, go and pop up who you would like to see there. Doesn't have to be a sunshine to a professional. Maybe you've got a few celebs in mind. But yes, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like, subscribe and tell us who you would like to see next. Until next time. This is the Virtual Sunshine Tour. Cheers. 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 Cheers.